much mm. and you want to support her, you, you want to be with her, you have to like be on her level or mm. even more to be helping her. You know, mm. I wouldn't want to be like, if she doesn't want this, I would try to find something that she would actually want. And I think that's the, the beauty of it. So, why are you still single? Hey, don't ask me. <laughs> I I'm tell just- What's up? I'm Sonia Chu. In the day, I'm a presenter, an entrepreneur, and at night, sometimes I'm an overthinker, which is why I'm on this podcast and hosting you, our very first episode of Men Explain. So no pressure at all yeah. being our first guest. Nothing. I don't feel um, anything. <laughs> but maybe you can just let our audience know what you do. My name is KG and I am actually with Wa Banana, a YouTube channel. I do my own YouTube channel as well, but mainly I create content on YouTube, Instagram, and I would call myself a freelancer. Mm. Yep. So being a freelancer, I'm sure it was pretty tough during uh, the pandemic when it first hit, right? Um, pretty is an understatement. Oh. It was really tough. Let me yeah. just... <laughs> I had no income for like a good two to three months. I mean, it's funny that you raise this up because today we want to talk about earning power. Yes. Okay, and I think in our society, we're kind of growing into the direction where we realise a lot of women around us, and I myself am noticing this as well, even as a woman, a lot of my girlfriends, they're becoming very ambitious, they're very successful in their yep. own right, and and more than ever, are they very proud to talk about their business, their successes and stuff like that. So, in this day and age, how would you feel dating a woman that earns more than you? Blessed. Blessed, I really am. Uh. Very blessed. <laughs> I tell you, no. <laughs> I think there's a whole stereotype where men feels like, oh, I'm a man. I need to be mm. the, the provider in the house. Mm. But coming from my perspective, because I'm a freelancer, to be honest, I don't earn much. Like, not a very stable income. Yeah. So most of the women that will be out there in Singapore would technically earn more than me. But I always feel it's not really... I don't think it's like a man thing. More like a woman's thing. From a guy, I'm I'm down with it. I would I wouldn't mind. Yeah. And I think it's most likely very possible that in the future if I did someone she would earn more than me. Okay. Yeah. So holla, because I feel like this entire five minutes he was like, I'm single and ready to be <laughs> That's all I got from that conversation that we had. <laughs> Many years ago actually, um, I was dating somebody. Um he is now married with uh, twins, by the way. <laughs> FYI, side note. Every single one of my exes that I've dated are now married with kids. So um, initially, like when I attended this uh, exes, somebody's wedding, like, one of his friend's weddings, you know, I met a lot of people and they were from an, they're from an industry that's completely different from ours. So I won't say what industry, but uh, you know, they have zero idea of what I actually do. So a lot of people are like, oh, so what do you really do like on a daily basis? Like, and somebody asked, um, how much do you earn? Like, yeah, somebody just spat it out on the table. Whoa. And they asked like, oh, on average, like let's say if you do like uh, events and stuff mm. and like, you know, you do lots of stuff back to back. So I just threw out a random number and they were honestly like, they were shocked. And they were like, why, what, what, what? what in the world do you do to like be able to earn yeah. that, you know, that much? Because I think at that point, a lot of them were around the same age as me as well. And they were just, you know, getting into their business, right? right they were right. still like growing and stuff. So it, to them, it was a little bit like, what? Like, I don't think what you do deserves that kind of money. So I was like, oh, it's a totally different skill, you know? Yeah. The guy that I was dating back then is like eight years older than me. And so I think at that point, even though eventually he's definitely going to be earning a lot more, at that point, to hear that his much younger girlfriend was possibly earning around the same as him, although he was like eight years older than me, I think to the whole table was a little bit like shocking, right? Ooh. And it kind of got a bit uncomfortable after that. So I don't know whether I regret actually saying something that's too close to the right. truth though. You know what I mean? Right. Maybe I should have downplayed it a little. I don't know. I don't think it's your yeah. fault. I think it's the person that asked you how much you earn. That's why. That Who? That's person for why? people, you know. And then- have you ever fought with a like a girl that you dated before over money issues? Money issue? No. Never really. We've never reached that stage. Oh. Like I said, yeah, we have never reached the stage where we talk about money. So what stage have you reached, KG? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I do have a good story. Okay, I'm about, ready for it. Yeah, because at that time I was still like grinding it out, yeah. you know, starting my YouTube career. Yeah. So I did tell this girl that I was dating at the time that oh, I I kind of want to like um because we were seeing each other. You know, the whole honeymoon period. Yeah, yeah, very yeah, yeah. taxing. You know, yeah, have to see yeah. each other. Not taxing. I mean, I, I don't mean taxing. Oh. I take that back. I take that back. 
<laughs> uh, it was wonderful, but but you no, know, sometimes you you kind of have to focus on your career a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So I did tell her like, oh, uh, could we just take a like a step back? You know, I'm not, I'm not breaking up with her, uh-huh. but I'm like, oh, like I I kind of need to focus more on my career now. You know, I need to upload videos, yeah, I need yeah, to create yeah, content yeah. that takes time, that takes effort. And she actually offered. Oh. Th- this is a this is like she actually offered. Oh. To give me an allowance. Wow. <laughs> That is interesting. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't like searching for a sugar mama? <laughs> no, just, no, check, no, just, no, checking, no. just checking, just checking. No, no. I mean, okay, she, she's actually, she actually has a full-time job. You know, okay. She's doing well. Her family is a rich background as well. Okay. So, so when, when she offered that to me, you took it. I'm not going to lie. No, no. He took it. He took it. <laughs> I, I could have resist. No, no, no. I think, I think from my perspective, as a guy also, yeah, that yeah. didn't hurt my ego a bit. <laughs>